So apparently someone is having Arch Derangement Syndrome. Arch Warhammer is a very popular YouTuber in the Warhammer community. His lore videos are getting a lot of views, much to the dismay and upset of a lot of more progressive-oriented individuals because uh, Arch doesn't tolerate any nonsense. He likes Warhammer the way it used to be and the way most people like it. And he doesn't like changes for the sake of ideology, like, oh, let's make uh, Space Marines female. Or uh, let's uh, remove the boobies from the Slaneshi monsters. You know, like, just random crap like that that most people don't want, but it's, like, part of the ideology. Um, and what I like is that people are making these very interesting comics, kind of, I, I guess, projecting what left-leading people want in life. It's like, how do I get Games Workshop to like me again? The obsession that, that leftists have with institutions is absolutely baffling. Um, right-wingers are more akin to family and friends, but the left is like the institution. Like, the institution needs to like me. The institution needs to make a statement. The institution needs to... No one gives a shit. I don't care. Like, people just want to be able to still have what they liked, and what they liked was a hobby. Right? As long as the story is interesting, the institution can hate the guts out of me. I don't... Like, that, that doesn't even compute. And look at this, right? Accept diversity into my heart. Is this part of a cult or something? Like, I, I, what, what exactly does it mean? I, I accept Jesus into his heart? Like, what? You're, you're replacing one with another? Stop doing fake British accents. The man isn't born English. It's not his native tongue. He actually had to learn English. How can you do a fake accent if you're learning a language? I mean... He studied British English, so he's speaking with the accent that he learned. This is so bizarre. It's like if I were to learn German, people would tell, start speaking with a fake German accent. Like, how the fuck does that work? <laughs> uh, keep doing the same old shit, I'm a genius. Yes, he is a genius. Do, do you see the numbers he's pulling on his channel? Do, do you not know that he makes a lot of money by doing something that he actually enjoys in life? And then there's this, like, give diversity a chance. Nine. You know, this makes him look quite badass to his fans, right? Like, because what is the controversy about? They want female space marines because ideology. Not because the story would make it any good. Not, not because, like, there's a lot of women that would play Warhammer if there were female space No reason whatsoever. Just because. Like, there, there has to be female space marines. You already have the Sisters of Battle. For some reason, they're not asking for men to be Sisters of Battle. You already have other races with powerful female characters, like the Eldar. You already have female saints. You already have, like, all these other things. Like, the orcs are a gender-neutral race. The Tyranids as well. But for some reason, no, no, no. We, we need to have female space marines. Why? Because we demand it. It's like, okay, well then, bring the 10 ton Warhammer, I guess. It's kind of like me um, looking at the, another IP that's beloved by women. Um, and I would say, okay, well, Fifty Shades of Grey. I want lesbian romance in Fifty Shades of Grey to have more LGBT representation. And women who are watching, they're like, no, but we, we just like the way the story is. We, we like, no, you bigots. Give diversity a chance. You know, what is this, the Warhammer setting? I guess the price for tolerance is treachery and damnation. And not to mention, you know, it's, it's so hilarious because in reality, Arsh doesn't really have any power, right? Like, he's a critic. Like, he can say he doesn't like something, but if other people would like it... I guarantee to you Games Workshop would sell it. But I'm pretty sure someone at the Games Workshop marketing team has seen how the waters are like. And they're like, okay, well, if we were to make female space marines, we would probably lose more people than we would gain. So that's what's happening here at the end of the day. Now, if they would actually have a, a compelling law reason and it would have made sense from an in universe standpoint yeah but the ideologues don't care about the universe standpoint 
Right? Like, they, they just want to have positions of power. Because what they want to say is like, oh, because you don't have female space marines, you're being sexist and misogynistic, and you need to hire moi in your company so I can advise and lecture you in exchange for cash and power. That's what they want. They don't care about, like, female space marines and other nonsense. I mean, it's, it's so freaking ridiculous. And again, like, the universe already has powerful women. It's... And, and the Sisters of Battle are exclusively female as well. And no one is complaining about that. I mean, there, there is equality at the end of the day. You have a group that's female only and a group that's male only. How, how is that problematic? Let me know what you guys think, though. And I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.